Finally guys, Pinemax listened to me. So I told them a lot of times, why don't you bring a Pimax Crystal Lite um, without the standalone mode, without the battery, because nobody needs that stuff. And yeah, this was just announced. So we will have a Crystal Lite and also a Crystal Super with micro OLED and 4K displays. So I will tell you uh, anything you need to know about the two new announced headsets and of course I will have them um, at home here as soon as they are available for a test. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Thank you to my sponsors Voodoo's VR, Open Events, Virtual Escape Area 1 and Virtual Reality Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, and as I said, Pimax finally listened to me or whoever told them also to create a Pimax Crystal Light. And this is the Pimax Crystal Light. So at the back it has no battery anymore and all the stuff. It's minus 60 grams and on the front minus 250 grams because we don't have any fans, any IPD, head sync and eye tracking and so on. So now, now the people would say, oh no, my dynamic foveated rendering is gone. I cannot play the flight simulator anymore. Yeah, that's true, but we still have the fixed foveated rendering and wait for the price of the headset. So this is how it looks, pretty similar than the Pimax Crystal. Yeah, we have the standard audio strap. You can, of course, buy the um, deluxe audio strap as well. Yeah, with the knob. You see perhaps a little bit that there is no battery compartment anymore, nothing which adds weight. And here we go. So let's check things out. So here's the integrated audio. We have six degrees of freedom. We still have the Lighthouse compatible faceplate. This optional, yeah. So if you want to use uh, uh, the index controllers, but you can also use the integrated controllers. These come with the package. We don't have an XR2 processor anymore. We have um, the resolution of 2880 by 2880 pixels per eye, which is really good at 120 Hertz. We have fixed four weighted rendering, optional upscaling. And um, also we have um, local dimming, in, uh, optional. This is optional. I will tell you about the price later. Yeah. Um, the power comes only via display port cable. We don't need any battery or adapter on that stuff. Um, two microphones, PC VR only. No, um, <laughs> no standalone stuff anymore. Light white. And we have the 35 pixel per degree lenses. They are pretty good. Yeah. And they are not interchangeable anymore with a crystal light. Yeah. So we have a pretty good field of view and no glare and so on. Now that's really, really nice. So yeah, here's the comparison uh, between the Crystal Light and the Crystal. Yeah, we have um, QLED, mini LED is optional. Uh, let me tell you the price later. Uh, we have no automatic IPD anymore, but I think that's no problem. We have just the, um, the buttons to do that manually. No eye tracking, uh, only fixed uh, foveated rendering. Lighthouse is also optional. Uh, lenses are fixed, yeah, and um, then we don't have any XR2 processor, of course, no internal storage, no standalone anymore, and uh, we have the 4.5 meter display port cable, which is pretty short, yeah. So, I recommend to buy the, the, the longer cable. Um, so, you see, Pimax wants you to spend perhaps a little bit more money, for example, for the uh, deluxe audio strap, the lighthouse plate, and the new, uh, the longer cable or so, yeah. Power is only via DisplayPort cable. It's not compatible with the 60 Giga uh, AirLink, yeah, wireless. It's not compatible and also not part of the 12K trade-in program, yeah. So now let's talk about the price. So the version with um, QLED and with no local dimming is $699 plus tax, yeah. And this is, in my opinion, a really good price for such a high-end headset. Yeah, it's a high-end PC VR headset and I can tell you the display is really good. Yeah, it's, it's really nice and um, it, it's a lot of fun to play PC VR games with that. The, the field of view is pretty good, yeah, better than um, Quest 3, a little bit better, yeah. And, but there's also another version with mini LED and with local dimming. 
Yeah, and this is $899. Yeah, but this is better, of course. Um, but it's still lighter and no XR2 processor and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so if you want a cheap high-end PC VR headset, go for the Crystal Light. It's really awesome. It will be released um, in on May, end of May 2024. Yeah, you can pre-order it now. Link is in the description. And then, yeah, that's really uh, awesome. Really nice PC VR headset. But there is one thing that's really insane. Look at this. This is the Pimax Crystal Super. This is an ultra high-end VR headset, an enthusiast headset. Uh, and it has even optional mixed reality front plate. You can buy it. Yeah, really nice. Um, I have no idea about the uh, the software and so on, um, what you can do with that, but at least you can buy it mixed reality. So here you see the Crystal Super, yeah, it looks like the others, <laughs> but you can see the big field of view lenses. I will talk about this now. So here we go. So we have uh, integrated audio, we have inside out tracking, we have lighthouse optional and also mixed reality optional, yeah, as with the um, Pimax Crystal, we have Lighthouse um, compatible stuff. The two controllers are always included. For me, they are enough. Yeah. Then we also have the PC VR processor without XR2 processor. Then uh, the standard lenses are 50 pixel per degree. This is insane. Yeah. But even optional 57 pixel per degree. This is higher than the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. Wow. We have a really huge field of view. So if you have the 50 pixel per degree standard lenses, we have 130 degrees horizontal field of view and 110 vert vertical. Yeah, 130 horizontal, 110 vertical. This is huge. Yeah, it's not as big as the uh, older Pimax 8KX or so, but with these high-end displays and le crystal clear lenses, it's Insane, it's really good and bigger than most other headsets. Yeah, and then yeah, we have 70 to 120 hertz. Um, we have two microphones per CVR only, also reduced size and weight. But there's one thing that is insane so they have an interchangeable optical system, they even have a patent of that. You see this small module here, this is the optical system, the optical unit, you can switch it, you can rip it off, yeah, and then change it to another one. So we have two optical modules. The first one is the QLED with 3840 by 3840 per eye at 120 hertz. This is insane, yeah, this is insane with a field of view of 130 horizontal and 110 vertical. Wow, nice, yeah. But if you, if you want even better, if you want micro OLED, better black levels and so on, better colors or what, it even has 4K per eye and 90 Hertz. You can remove the QLED front unit and replace it with the micro OLED unit. You can interchange it. How cool is that? I've never seen this before. Wow. So let's talk about the prices. The QLED version um, for the Pimax Crystal Super is 1,799 US dollars. That's pl plus tax. It's a pretty high price, but when you compare it to the Apple Vision Pro, which is $3,500, and this one here is even better. It has better uh, display, uh, higher pixel per degree, and you can. It, it has track controllers. You can play games with that high quality games. So it's much better than the Apple Vision Pro in my opinion. Uh, and if you even want the micro OLED, yeah, this is even much more better than the Vision Pro uh, resolution, you will pay 1,999 US dollars for the micro OLED version of the Crystal Super. And if you want to go full in, all in one, then you can uh, buy the bundle edition. Then you have both modules included, the QLED and the micro LED, and this will be three, uh, 2,399 US dollars. Yeah? Then you have everything. 
yeah both modules yeah? and even if you buy the whole package the mix reality module the lighthouse module the dmas audio strap the QLED and the micro LED, even if you buy everything, it's even cheaper than the Apple Vision Pro and you can do much, much more with that. For example, if you want to watch movies, go for the micro OLED and if you, after that, you want to play a game where you need a, a bigger field of view, because the, only the QLED uh, module has the big field of view, the micro OLED has a smaller field of view because it's technically not possible at the moment. Yeah, so you can switch it uh, then to QLED uh, if you want a bigger field of view. So this is absolutely insane. How cool is that? And I think there's even a discount code for people that already have the Pimax Crystal of 399 US dollars. Yeah, go via my link, please. Um, I, uh, and, and then um, you can support me a little bit for free. I think later there will be even a discount code. I have no idea when. Yeah, but just go via my link. Perhaps there's even a discount code. Uh, and if not, you supported me for free. That's also uh, would be very nice of you. And yeah, so here it is. This is the Pimax Super with the um, lighthouse plate and with the sword controllers. But I definitely recommend the index controllers, to be honest. Yeah, this is it. How cool is that? And it will be released uh, around the end of 2024. Yeah, so first the uh, Pimax Crystal Light, then the uh, Crystal Super, yeah. And there's another thing, um, this is the 60 GHz Air Link module for the uh, standard Pimax Crystal, yeah. So this thing here uh, comes, uh, uh, will be connected to the uh, micro HDMI of the Pimax Crystal. It has, it, it has nearly no weight, no weight is uh, added, just a very small module. And this is the transmitter and receiver that will connect as a display output via HDMI to your PC. And then you can play wireless with the Pimax Crystal. And then finally, the battery of the Pimax Crystal makes sense. <laughs> so this module here will be released in Q3 2024 for 299 US dollars. And, um, if you have the crystal already, it's 50 US dollars off. Really nice. So uh, go via my link, of course, for the standard Pimax crystal, you will get $100 discount. Uh, if you go via my link and use the coupon code VoodooDE. Um, this is awesome. So it seems like Pimax finally understood what to do. Yeah, they understood that. And it's really nice. So if you want, a high-end PC VR headset and save money, go for the Crystal Light. If you have more money and you want the absolutely best on the planet, even better than the Apple Vision Pro, then go for the Pimax Crystal Super with the bundle edition. Wow, that's so cool. I'm, uh, I will, of course, do reviews on my channel of both headsets. And um, as soon as I got that, Make, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my honest reviews. You, you know I, I do brutal honest reviews and I will do that with the crystal as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Go via my link if you are interested and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.